As part of efforts to aid thousands of victims of human trafficking and other series of abuses and irregularities in migration, the International Organization for Migrants, through funding from the United Kingdom Government Home Office, has commissioned a mail shelter in Lagos, Nigeria. The mail shelter, which would double as an integration center, is aimed at assisting victims in the area of psychological distress reintegrate back to society. The Patriotic Citizens Initiative, PCI, Executive Director Osita Osemene, a victim of a returned migrant who championed the cause, advised the government to uh, create programs that would reduce poverty and unemployment among the youth so that the drive for greener pasture outside the country will be reduced. Osemene noted that it has always been a bad experience to go through the desert in order to beat <clears throat> immigration policies and at the end of the rigorous journey nothing becomes meaningful he therefore advised the federal government only uh, provides shelter for female migrants without any consideration for their male counterpart hence the establishment of one in lagos for male victims on a part the program manager migrant protection iom nigeria Sask saskia cook said the United Kingdom will continue to provide capacity building and enhancement of service support for the Nigerian government. The National Agency for Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, Lagos Zona, or Commander Agoron Ganiyu Alao, also spoke on the need and the effort of the government in addressing the issues of human trafficking. It has done quite a lot to advance migration, but also to provide sustainable reintegration support. In fact, over the past four years, we have returned more than 21,000 migrants from all over the, uh, the central West Mediterranean route, including Libya, but also Mali and Niger. And one of these initiatives is actually done with the government to enhance their capacity. So my, my advice would be to continue the good work that we are doing in the country. Everyone, every one of us have to face in the country. We know the system has, is uh, so difficult to survive in this system. The youths are finding it difficult to get job, unemployment everywhere, you know. But that is not an excuse for us to, to, to uh, indulge in this kind of uh, uh, movement that will create, you know, uh, unhappiness for our families. Today is bridging the gap in the reintegration process of return migrants or voluntary returnees of victims of human trafficking. This is a mere shelter. Good and fine. Here and now we are going to have counselors. We are going to have vocational centers. And at the end of the day, whoever comes in here as a male is going to.